Hey guys, Jared here, and at the end of this video, I'll be answering some comments or questions. But we know why you're here. You guys are curious to know who enjoys sex more, men or women. And truthfully, there is no definite answer. It really varies per person depending on their sex drive, past sexual encounters, self-confidence, really the list goes on and on. But after doing a ton of research, and I mean a ton, I tried to formulate somewhat of an answer for you guys. Edward O. Lohman is a professor of sociology at the University of Chicago, and also the author of The Social Organization of Sexuality, Sexual Practices in the United States. The book I quote reports the complete results of the nation's most comprehensive representative survey of sexual practices in the adult population of the United States. That's according to the back of the book. And although this book only covers Americans, their population does make up about 5% of the entire world. Again, it's not a huge amount, but it's definitely something to work off of. According to Dr. Lohman, majority of men under age 60 think about sex at least once a day, whereas only a quarter of women think about it as much. On top of that, it seems men and women both fantasize less about sex as they get older, but men still fantasize twice as much as women. Roy Bomister, a social psychologist at Florida State University said, I quote, men want sex more often than women at the start of a relationship, in the middle of it, and after many years of it. And that doesn't just go for heterosexuals. Gay men reportedly also have more sex than lesbians do at all stages of relationships. And in regards to masturbation, approximately 66% of men do it compared to the 40% of women. And the frequency of how often they do it is much lower for women compared to men. So men think about sex more, seem to want it more, and masturbate more. But who's easier to arouse? Northwestern University researcher Meredith Chivers and colleagues conducted a series of studies from 2003 to 2007 measuring one's arousal level by showing people sexual content. Participants were shown heterosexual, homosexual, a male masturbating, a woman masturbating, a naked man walking on a beach, a naked woman exercising, and two apes mating. Interestingly enough, heterosexual men seem to have responded the most to any of the videos involving women. However, women seem to be aroused by all the videos, even the apes mating. Chivers said, I quote, with men, their sexual orientation and patterns of sexual responses in a laboratory setting seem to be really tightly linked. Women respond to a pretty broad range of sexual stimuli and they may or may not be connected to their psychological responses. It also seems that women's sex drives are influenced by their environment and social factors. I mean think about it. Men are praised for having a ton of sexual partners, in most cases, whereas women are shamed for it. How often do you hear a guy being called a whore, slut, skank and so on? And how often do you hear girls bragging about all the guys they've had sex with lately? Again, product of your environment. But just because society thinks a certain way doesn't mean you have to. If you like sex, then have it. Who cares? As long as you're safe when you're doing it. Lastly, it takes men on average four minutes from the point of vaginal entry to reach an orgasm or ejaculation. Women on average need around 10 to 11 minutes if they even get to the point of an orgasm. According to a Cosmopolitan survey from March 2015, 57% of women have orgasms most or every time they have sex with a partner. But when asked how most of their orgasms happen, 39% said masturbating with a toy or hand. Only 20% said vaginal intercourse plus clitoral simulation. And 15% said most of their orgasms come from regular sex without clitoral stimulation. Men on the other hand, according to a study from the University of Chicago, 75% will always reach an orgasm. So looking at statistics, it would make sense if men enjoyed sex more for a few reasons. They're more likely to reach an orgasm. Sex is seen as an accomplishment in today's society for some reason. They think about it more often and have a higher sex drive. Now again, it doesn't necessarily prove that an orgasm feels better for a man over a woman because I think it depends on the individual. So I don't think we can have a definitive answer, but it would seem men could enjoy it more based off of statistics only. All right guys, I'm going to be reading some comments from the video about Hillary Clinton's concession speech. IJ Productions said, did Trump's presidential acceptance speech change your mind about Trump? To be very honest with you, I think a lot of people are overreacting to him being elected. Even though he did horrible things and said horrible things, since being elected president, again, his acceptance speech and so on, has really proved that maybe he's not the guy that everyone thinks he was. I think he just said things that he thought would get him votes, which obviously they did, but now I think he's really changing his tune and showing the world that he's really not that much of a bigot, racist, idiot. It definitely did change my perception of him. I don't, I'm not saying that I endorse him in any way, but uh, I definitely definitely don't think he's as bad as people think he will be. Narelli Murillo said, watch now the purge is going to happen. Again, I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be as bad as you guys think. I mean, he is the president, but there's only so much he could do without getting it passed through his entire Senate. Or Manco Kitty said, I don't care about who the president is as long as there will be no war. I don't want to have to have my family and I to live through something like that. That's a very good comment to say. I, I definitely agree with that, but unfortunately there is still war going on overseas and you know, we got to stop that too. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you enjoyed it, you got to leave me a comment down below. Let me know why and all your thoughts on everything that I covered. Again, I don't wanna make it seem like I'm saying guys enjoy sex more than girls. I'm just saying based off the statistics that I read, it seems like a guy is more likely to just get off and that seems to be the whole point of sex. So it would make sense that they enjoy it more. I'll see you guys in the next video. Stay beautiful, my friends.